Hello everyone, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm Jamie from Jollywood Dog Training. This is Frankie. Um, Frankie's four years old, he's my little baby. Um, you might have seen him on our logo. His head's on every bit of merchandise I can get hold of. <laughs> um, now today me and Frankie are gonna be doing a little video for you on the basics of loose lead, okay? Now the main thing is being successful in your training. Um, and the best way to be successful in your training is make sure you're set up correctly first of all. Now, first of all, to hold my treats, I'm gonna have a nice treat pouch, okay? Um, and I've got tons of treats in there, nice selection. I've also got a clicker. Now Frank is, um, it's not a toy. Frank is trained on a clicker and he understands that when the clicker goes off, that is his marker for the correct behavior, okay? Now, um, also what I'm gonna use is a perfect fit harness. Now this harness here has two attachments. Um, one on the chest and one on the back. Now these harnesses come in three different parts and you can get different sizes and different fits so you do get the perfect fit for your dog. Um, now, these harnesses, you can get hold of them from a website called Dog Games, um, the perfect fit harness. Or if you're local, you can come and get your dog fitted up um, by us and we can order the harness in for you. Now, I'm gonna attach the lead onto the front and onto the back, okay? So I've got a double-ended lead. And I'm gonna hold my clicker in the opposite side to what I wanna work the dog, okay? So for today and the purpose of this video, Frankie's gonna be working on the left. I'm gonna have my treat pouch on the left, nice and easy for me to deliver my treat to the um, position of where I want the dog to hang out, okay? Now, first of all, all I'm gonna do is work from here to the marker I've set out behind me and I'm gonna click and reward the dog for being in that position, okay? And I'm gonna try and keep the dog in that position and keep clicking and rewarding him in that position there, first of all, to create, create that nice hot spot um, and let him know where I want him to be. So. Okay, so the first stage is to create that hotspot to the dog and deliver the reward to the position of what you want the dog. Now I'm holding my lead and my clicker quite central, so my lead stays the same length. Um, also, I'm delivering my treat always in the same spot, that middle point of my leg, so my dog's nose is always there when he's receiving the treat. Okay. Um, now, once you're getting more of the dog holding the position and not pulling anymore, you can start clicking and rewarding more than one thing, okay? Now, first thing I'm clicking and rewarding is the dog just being in a position. Then, by being in a position, the dog is having this slack line across in front of me, okay? So if the line's slack, I can click. If the dog's in position, I can click. Now, also what you're gonna start to get is the dog focusing on you, okay? so. On this lap, what you're going to see is me clicking and rewarding as Frank um, checks in on me as well as holding his position. Okay, so leading clicker on the right hand, food delivery on the left. Away we go. Now it's very important that your hand does not go in to get your treat until you've clicked, okay? Because otherwise, your hand in your pocket can be a cue to the dog that something is coming. What you want is the cue for the dog that something is coming is when the clicker goes off, okay? Um, and it can dilute the exercise if you just put your hand in your pocket and your dog's just looking at you because you've got your hand in your pocket and they think something's coming out. Um, so I'm gonna do one more lap for you. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm clicking and rewarding when he's on a slack line. 
when he's in position, when he's um, focusing on me, um, and I'm going to make sure that I don't put my hand in my pocket until I've clicked, okay? Okay, so that's our video on basics of loose lead. Um, we're going to up upload a couple more videos over the next coming weeks um, where we can take this further um, and also for any sort of problems that you might run into um, when working with your dog in different places. Um, the key thing at the moment is to pick the right environment to work the dog, make sure the dog's totally comfortable. Um, you can investigate that environment first of all on a long line, let your dog have a bit of a mooch, um, sniff sniff get the sniff out of them um, and then when you're ready to train then train thank you very much for watching um, if you're interested in anything at, that we do at Chorley with Dog Training get onto our website www.chorleywithdogtraining.co.uk we're also on Facebook our Facebook page Chorley with Dog Training um, you can see most of the work we do on there if you're interested in coming and having some fun with your dog, we've got behaviour classes, we've got agility classes, we've also got some scent detection and some tracking classes. Um, but the main thing is to get out there and have some fun with your dog, um, build a strong relationship and enjoy it. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. Go on in boy, you can have it now. Here you are.